My name is Zach Kenny. Uh, I own ZK Painting. I've uh, been in business for about five years. Been using fine paints for off and on throughout that time. Within the last year, we have um, decided to only use fine paints of Europe, um, and we serve the Rhode Island market. I've been painting since I was about 15 years old. Um, it started off as a punishment. Uh, I had to go paint some uh, picnic tables at my mom's daycare. My entire career, as a painter working for everybody, I was constantly told, hurry up, we don't have time to do it that nice. Like, stop, stop trying to do it so nice. Let's go, you're not getting paid for this. So, I have a very OCD nature, I love perfection, and I, I learned what's possible, you know, through extra labor. And, and so it was a lot of that. So, continually to increase the level of my quality that I kind of, the domestic paint market let me down. Um, then I found a, a product called C2 Guard. Uh, it's a wood preservative. Um, once I had that product and I could treat wood with a wood preservative and the wood would never get wet and the paint would never peel, I needed to find the paint that was the most color fast and longest lasting um, that way. And so when I felt confident that my substrate was sound exterior and it wasn't gonna peel. What's the next step? This stuff came up, you know, it was, it was I did my homework. Um, I got pretty interested in fine paints. I bugged my dealer for a few years to come get certified. Um, I came last year, I was certified. I had not used the paint a ton. Um, I had dreams of using it a lot and uh, the I knew the certification would help me to sell jobs because I knew it was going to be more expensive. Um, so I came last year and I met so many people, had my mind completely blown, learned about what makes it so special. And I began to use, I decided I was going to use only fine paints of Europe paint in my business. And that was, a, that has been a major turning point. Um, I hired Larry Lanuet. Um, he came out for three days, got me started on this path. Um, I've hired him since to come out again and continue us down that. But we've been going pretty hard um, with Fine Paints of Europe and tailoring my entire business to meet, like not only do we do really nice paint jobs with really nice paint, but we try to make our client and customer experience on that same level. And that's where we're, we're having success. And because the market is a complete vacuum, there's nobody in my, in my state that uses fine paints with any success. Um, I'm by far the largest purchaser of fine paints of Europe paint in Rhode Island in just a quick, you know, in a short year. Um, we're just, it's gonna explode. I, I spend most of my time educating designers and architects and homeowners, but mostly designers and architects, about the product, showing them, here's a sample of our work, we can make this paint look this good, it's possible, keep us in mind, we only do this. Don't call us if you wanna put Benjamin Moore on the walls. I know a guy, I'll refer you to him, but we are going to specialize in fine paints of Europe. The market has, it's, there's just a complete vacuum, so, I, one job leads to the next job. The, every time I speak to a designer, they go, oh, I have a job. I have a job that'd be perfect for it. So we were able to add tools to their toolbox that they didn't have before. So, and, that, and that's with the help of Larry, we're working really hard to be an orange in a field of apples so that there's no comparison. If you want a bid, if you want to take my bid and compare it to somebody, call Shoreline Painting call Jessica Allred, you know, Boston or Greenwich, Connecticut are gonna be the closest people that are doing what we're, what we're doing. So the reason we are focusing on fine paints of Europe, what I like most about it is, it's the best paint that I can buy in America. It's pure paint, it's, it's not anything but paint, it's, which I didn't know was a thing until I came here last year. I just thought, we used the top of the line paints from all of the local distributors. Sherwin Williams, Benjamin Moore, we used Emerald, we used Aura. Um, 
And I just thought that was the gold standard. And I was let down by uh, specifically Emerald on an exterior job. It faded in, within five years and it was supposed to be the best stuff ever. So knowing that the fine paints is gonna be the most color fast paint I can put on a substrate in America, that gives me, I mean, it's so easy to sell that to a client who wants longevity when labor is so much of this, the piece of this. So there's like just the, the pure quality. You touch this paint. When, peop, when my clients touch and feel fine paints of Europe, I don't have to say anything else. It's just the conversation's over. A, a good amount of our work comes from referrals. We do one high gloss front door and the neighbors see it and then their neighbors see it and their friends come over, they talk. And so the work sells itself. Like my favorite thing about this paint is when we walk away, I have a marketing campaign that stays. Like you can't beat that. When I was trying to compete in a market with everybody else using the same paint I was using, we always did a little bit more prep work and, and took care to do things super thoroughly, you know, measuring moisture content, waiting the amount of time you required, like all the little things. But it's very hard to differentiate yourself when you're using the same paint as the other painter. So when I started get, using fine paints, the, a big reason why I wanted to use it was now, I only use fine paints, that guy's using that other stuff, you can't compare us. And, and for me, that's, that excites me. Yeah, so we, we sell fine paint, we only use fine paints of Europe. So we, we do a lot of things to try to differentiate ourselves in the market, not just using the paint. So like it was told to me, if I want to sell Lamborghinis, I can't sell Lamborghinis from a Toyota dealership. So I spent a lot of my time trying to build this Lamborghini deal, the metaphorical Lamborghini dealership to sell my Lamborghini paint jobs out of. So a lot of the things that we do, and, and I spent a lot of time thinking outside the box on how to change the entire interaction with ZK Painting so that it's nothing like any other contractor that they've ever worked with. So we don't get looked at as a contractor, we're an artist. We come in, we do things different. So um, we do things like we put Wi-Fi enabled cameras on our job sites that only the client has the passcodes to and they can watch, they can zoom in, they can move around, they can listen in to the job site at all times. And they set these cameras up, they know where they go and we don't ever touch them. So adding transparency that way is something that we do that we've had a lot of success with people. When you tell them here, it's gonna be two or three times what that other guy's price is. I needed to do things more than just have a really good paint job. So we add transparency. I'm not just pocketing 10 grand and then doing the work. Like there's a reason that my price is there. So we try to be as transparent as possible with things like that. Um, my guys are, are trained with it. We, you know, we do etiquette classes to, to not just be another dude showing up to put some paint on a wall. You know, if you're gonna put $55 a gallon thick crappy latex paint over the top of something, it doesn't need to be sanded to the levels that we sand things with, with fine paints of Europe. So the for me, the product is so good, it warrants more prep work. Um, so in the painting aspect, we do that. We use all dustless sanding equipment. Um, I know many painters at this point are, but we've been using Festool for many years. Um, we use negative air machines and on our job sites. Um, drop cloths are laid from the front door all the way up to where we may be working inside the house. Um, we just, when we, and we try to leave every house cleaner than we found it. Um, you know, we bring porta potties to the job sites. We're not using the, the client's bathrooms. Um, we're just trying to be as professional because the trades in general have such a low bar of professionalism that we're trying to, to not be average in any way. I understand painting. I, I love painting. Um, I think of myself as a, a true craftsman and, it, and I'm pretty good at conveying that to the client. Um, my reputation um, is a big part of it. We do almost all of our work is based on referrals. So we do work for a client, they tell somebody else, 
Um, I think a lot of it really is, is people trust that I care as much about the job being done right as they do because I do. And it's, so it's easy. It's so easy. I show up, I love what I do. I want to put out a product. I can, sometimes I may push them to out of their comfort zone to take on a little bit more than they thought they were going to do because I, I know that we're the real deal. Um, and I think it, it's, it's pretty easy for me to communicate that to them and, and to be different on the, on many levels. So we work with designers. Um, and, but a lot of times the designers, especially in my market today, because fine paints is not well known or understood. Um, a lot of times they're looking to me to find out what's possible. What, what, what's looks, what's going to look good here? What product should we put there? Um, then I, that's when I'll suggest, you know, maybe we put this product here cause it's going to look good with this, these two different sheens, maybe do the same color on the walls and the trim, just change the sheen or, or don't do either. And, so I painted a lot of things. Um, I'm pretty particular, and and I I've, I've been able to bring that knowledge to the table when they want to ask about doing something. I, I know the product for the the substrate that they want to achieve what they want to have at the end. Um, so the designers I found a lot of them don't they they know the color and they know general stuff, but I I can be very helpful in the process of well, this sheen here, this product there, um, and don't be afraid of the colors, you know, all, all the things that come with experience and, and love for painting. I think Fine Paints of Europe paint is a good value to the right client um, because so much of our work is labor anyway. If I'm going to do all this labor, why not spend a little bit more on paint today and not see me? for two or three times as long. Not have paint failures. Have your product or your paint job look as good as it did the day I, le I left 10 years later. For me, when you're putting on paint on a surface that's gonna last as long as fine paints does and look as good and have the color and the light reflect into the room and you're gonna feel better in that room, it's, it's a no brainer. The chemistry speaks for itself with fine paints. And I'm, I'm very into the, the objective reasons why I would use something someplace. And my experience with the, the large domestic paint manufacturers is it's a very much a subjective marketing game. And, uh, you know, you put this here, there's no rhyme or reason. There's seven tiers of paint where there should only be one or maybe two. And they can't tell you why they put those five cans there. So for me, Fine Paints has a very honed in product line, which makes it so that they can be incredibly transparent with when I call up and go, here's the project I have. I'm wondering about specking this and this here. What are your thoughts? They're not trying to turn me to do something that's best for their margins. They're going to sell me the paint. They're going to tell me to use the paint that's the best for that process or that substrate. And to me, the honesty and the transparency that I get from the fine paints support team is it's unparalleled in the, in the business. It's just, I'm so sick of listening to people tell me things and then not backing them up later. And, and they were all subjective terms. And then coming to the fine paints certification program here in Vermont and being surrounded by the, some of the United States best paint contractors, some of the most amazing craftsmen, so much knowledge in the room. I'm able to network with a bunch of other paint geeks, paint nerds like myself, and we can just talk painting all all last night, all today, I, all tonight. I can't, like, it feeds my soul to get to be able to nerd out about paint like this. Um, nowhere else can I go to dinner and the whole entire conversation can be about paint and best practices and, you know, war stories and, and the lessons learned and 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 then like even the big picture you know macro ideas about paint all those things only because fine paints has curated this group of people who are true craftsmen do i get to come here and and find out there's other people like me